So hi. Um, this was a really interesting style of filmmaking for this film. Um, what were your first reactions to, to this style and had you ever done anything like it before? Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I, 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 my first reaction, I, I think I refused. I refused <laughs> to improvise for a few really? weeks. Um, yeah, I wasn't really, I was really, really nervous about improvising and, and I hadn't really done a lot of it. And I always thought it was something to do with comedy in a sense. So I think for the first few weeks I didn't, I was slightly inactive. But um, after a while Tom kind of like set up a, a room and set up a space in which you could kind of fall into an improvisation almost seamlessly, just having a conversation. So it, it became a lot easier and you kind of explored avenues that weren't necessarily always funny. But it just, it, he had a, a flow, I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd not done really very much improvising before this. Um, uh, so I thought it was really exciting. I thought, in my head, I think uh, it was how I thought films were made before I knew how films were made. So um, you would just kind of turn up with a character that you'd built kind of emotionally from the, from the ground upwards uh, and then just being able to speak freely, not having to be kind of confined by... <laughs> words written on a page so it was very exciting sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it's really wonderful so. um, and I had done some improv before actually quite oh. a bit <laughs> 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 I'm just <laughs> asking the question <laughs> um, uh, but you know every time it's whoever you work with it's always different obviously um, I'd worked with improv like working around the script that was already written and kind of you know uh, so basically, I've never quite worked in that <laughs> way before. <laughs> on a play, actually, on a play, I did do on something like that. Yeah, we devised a play a few years ago, oh, yeah. and we had a very personal approach to the work. I guess what was different about this, or a little bit scary, is that it was so personal, what we brought to it. And that took a little while to get used to and to trust the director that, you know, yeah. And you guys all have a really intimate, tender relationship throughout. How did you manage to build that off-screen chemistry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was part of the rehearsals that we were doing. Yeah, yeah, we were getting to know each other. Actually. I think we were yeah. just you know, talking about our lives um, and our histories and our families and so on. And Sorry. And um, <laughs> we were kind of, yeah, and that kind of built up. And I think in a sense that... <clears throat> The rehearsal process and the technique, he would, Tom would, you'd build a character through improvisation and, and through those stories, and you'd bring that forward. So that that bond, I think, was like, we had three months. So that by the time we started filming, that bond was was quite true and honest. Yep. And I think that was the idea as well. I mm. think Tom tried to get us to know each other yeah. in a way that because he wanted the relationship to be real on yeah. screen in a way. Yeah. And Edward, how was the comedy? Had you ever done stand-up comedy before? Are you thinking of going into it now? Yes, I've done loads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'd not done any comedy before. Uh, me and Tom Erchgolnik, uh, the director, went on a on a, a weekend course uh, for four weekends just to learn the basics, the rudimentary kind of elements of putting together a uh, a short set. Uh, and then I did several gigs before we started filming. And uh, and then five gigs, I think, while we were filming. Um, it's it's not something that I particularly enjoyed doing. I found it really difficult. Um, I think comedy, if you're going to do it, it's something that you're naturally drawn to. Uh, so there's probably a reason why I'd never done it before. <laughs> why I've not been doing it since <laughs> finished. Yeah. Um, but uh, but um, but it was definitely something. I mean, I'm very proud that I've done it. It's, it's something yeah. that I boast about now to other people. So. Yeah, it takes a lot of guts, I think. And Elisa, you play music, obviously, in the film. Is that yeah. something that you brought to the character, or was that already um, in Tom's idea of her? So, yeah, Tom had the idea of having, yeah, uh, a young woman who lived in London and who played music, um, like a singer, songwriter of some sort, or someone who tried to do a bit of music, anyway, as a creative output. Um, 
I'd already started to do a bit of that myself before I met Tom, and then I was like, hmm, that's interesting, it's a good challenge. Um, and so in, in the way that we worked with everything, we kind of brought ourselves to the piece, and so, yeah, it was an idea he had, and it was something that I had started to do, so when we met, you know, when I first met Tom before he hired me for the job, we sort of talked about that. And then in the film itself, yeah, it was... Well, like Ed, actually, it's quite a challenge for me because I hadn't done these type of open mics before. Guitar is something I play a little bit of for myself, but definitely not on stage. <laughs> you know, I yeah. can work out how to sing in the mic and look at <laughs> the chords I was playing <laughs> at the same time. Um, so it was um, it was a, quite a push, but yeah. And you had actual live audiences as well, so. And, and even more scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. And Nathan, how um how did you sort of know which direction to go in with your character? What what sort of impression did you get from him? And uh, how did you sort of know how to develop him? What what kind of key characteristics did you want to give him? I, I didn't. I thought you were going to just ask about the art then. <laughs> 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 we had a creative thing and mine got cut from the film because mine was awful. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't really know which, which way to go. I mean, I, when I first <laughs> met Tom, um, I, I was quite dubious about, about where, to, where to take the character, where to go with the character. And we had quite differing views of what that should be. And then we, we had another meeting, and you were there for the first one, weren't you? Um, and we had another one, and we kind of came to, uh, to a point, but I didn't really know. It was it was very organic, and there were a few things we tried out that just didn't work. Um, I was meant to be from somewhere else, and so on, and actually, we kind of settled on a, a young artist mm -hmm. in London um, with a palatial flat, but no money, <laughs> <laughs> which I'm sure happens. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was just about exploring those different avenues, and I you know, kept on going wrong, and had a few frustrating points. I think there were actual holes in the wall. <laughs> there was a hole in the wall towards the end. So yeah, it was just about going going off piste. And we had a lot of evening sessions. So um, I would come in in the evenings after these guys had finished and we'd just sit around talking. Yeah. Cool, thank you very much. Thank and I really enjoyed much. the movie, so congratulations. Thank you very thank much. You very much. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> oh.